anyone who watched Tom Aspinall work in training and during his amateur and early pro career felt like they were looking at a future UFC heavyweight champion. Tom Aspinall has every skill you would want from a big man. Moves exceedingly well. His speed is going to be a real problem in, in theory for the opposition tonight. And most of these heavyweights just are not as fleet of foot. That says nothing of his grappling game. This is the longtime grappling coach for Team Calbon. He has every skill in his mixed martial arts arsenal. And scary proposition for the rest of the heavyweight division. He ain't get worse. So here's Muhammad Ali making the walk to the octagon with much fanfare. A lot of people thought this moment would never materialize. I don't believe it. You know, when people talk about the GOAT, it's always a conversation with people having opinion. Very rarely do you get a person almost universally considered the greatest of all time. That is what you get in Muhammad Ali when people talk about boxing. The guy has unbelievable hand speed, footwork, but it'll be his takedown defense that will allow for him to find success inside the octagon. We're about to find out what the greatest can do, John, in an eight-sided cage. And you're right, most heavyweights in this division are gonna test his takedown defense, but plus athlete doesn't even begin to describe it. We'll see how it goes for Ali here tonight. Muhammad Ali has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for fight. this one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go with round one. And what do you do as a UFC heavyweight if you are facing Muhammad Ali? It's simplistic to suggest that you can just shoot at his legs, right? It's not as though he hasn't been working on his wrestling and training. But you know what leads the dance for Muhammad Ali? Being right on his feet, moving well laterally, working off of that jab. Just an absolute treat to have Muhammad Ali on the proven ground tonight. Able to check that kick as well. Back and forth we go. Takedown defense holds up. Ali gets caught by that straight punch there. Landed that one. Spinal gets the single leg takedown, well played. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Nice straight right, Lance. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Game straight posture and starts raining down punches. 
if his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. Oh, floor attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Aspinall. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, high level stuff here with the ground and pound by Aspinall. Well, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest, and get another punch to finish his technique. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. <laughs> Round two straight ahead. that last round is really one step ahead of you on the submissions. Now, you're doing a great job with your defense, but we have to avoid those positions altogether and become offensive. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. Rip the body there. Good jab there by the champion. Jab by Ali. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Asper. If this guy doesn't move his head, he's trying to walk it in. Oh, big left hook there. Way to hide that leg. Just over three minutes now to go. Immediately gets the underhook. Effective punch from the clinch there by Aspinall. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this great time on that double leg. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Side control now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curdled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Aspinall's going for the sub here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like it's getting tight. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. Takes his back now. Under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in, this could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pop. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Final seconds here of round two. 
Oh. Two rounds in the books. Alright, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you liked face punching, that was a good round. For yeah, you. where's my telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Nice punch by Ali. Just missed with the left there. Let me see that one now. Hook is there again. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, nice single, yes. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Just over three minutes to go. Posturing heavy shots. Go, heavy it's shots. Work. I'll stand it up. It's work. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. having his way with him here. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Aspinall's in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Listen, you gotta control the hands. Hand control. Hand control. Grab those wrists. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Fifteen seconds. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists. Land strikes, don't throw too many. Throw just enough control. Throw again, control. He did it perfect. Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship fights? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Right hook to the head block. 
Watch the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Lands to the body there. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Aspinall's got his back yet again. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Nice. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Trying for a submission now. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Aspinall's right back to the full mount. for the end of round four. Right, we're losing this fight, but we have one round to turn it around. I need you to push the pace on this guy. Fight like you've never fought before. This is it, your last. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs, survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. And tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. Oh, That'll do it! Oh, Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Thomas So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath. 
but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind them because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.